Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and my sales. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. Garage sales, when they're happening, still snow and ice on the ground out there. Uh, estate sales, thrift stores, places like that. I, I buy things there and then I sell them online. And like many of you, my sales in the last, uh, particularly the last week, it's it's been up and down and a little bit down uh, for, uh, for a bit now, you know, for a month, two months, something like that. Usually the first quarter is a little bit slow, so that's not necessarily out of the ordinary. But lately it's been a marked decrease. And I'm hearing from friends that typically have a pretty good sales day consistently they're seeing some of this too. And so I know it's not just me. It's not everybody. There are people that are having great days out there, but there are a lot of people that are uh, seeing some struggles in the sell-through department right now. And I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm right there. Uh, yesterday, $92 gross, I believe. And uh, so not great right now. But what we're going to do is take a look at what I sold over the weekend and then a handful of sales on Monday. And we're going to come back then and talk about something that I get questions about quite a bit is promoted listings. I'm going to talk about how I do it. I'm going to talk about how I think it works and whether it's worth it. And then I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments. So here's our weekend sales. Uh, not a whole lot of them. I think 14 is what we're looking at, but there were a couple higher dollar sales in here. So it did help balance things out just a little bit. That's not necessarily high dollar, but pretty cool. Little MCM piece, little divided triangular bowl. And it's sold for 14 bucks plus shipping. We've got here from an old 1950s Mark's play set. Just a replacement piece. This is a uh, tower turret that sits on top. It was a uh, tin litho castle set. And uh, this little piece, I accepted an offer of nine bucks plus shipping just for that little replacement piece. Here we've got some Imagine Next figures. We've got three Jokers in there and one Harley Quinn. Uh, these are the DC Super Friends. And I accepted an offer on this. Actually, no, this, I think this did sell full price. It was uh, $9.98 plus shipping for that. Here we've got a really nice sale. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four and would be worth more, but we do have some nicks here. And so there's some color break. Color break is where like the little crease does just what it says. It breaks the color. Otherwise, this would be blue. Sometimes you get little nicks that you can see if you hold it right, but it doesn't cut into the color. There is some color break there. And so on the spine, a little bit of damage. Otherwise, this is in really nice condition. So I was hoping to get more, but it, I accepted an offer for really about what it's going for right now. $75 plus shipping for TMNT number four. Let's do this guy because he sold for right about the same. This is 100% Hot Wheels, 1 18th scale. Uh, the video where I picked this up actually just uh, not too long ago. Got this during the 50-mile garage sale in western Montana. And this one, like the turtles, this would be worth more. Except you can see over here he's missing his uh, left side mirror. And so he, if he wasn't missing the side mirror, this would be a really good piece. But even as it is, not too bad at all. The Ferrari going for $73.59 plus shipping. We've got a little dinosaur figure headed out. Another little packy, the Ram head. This is not super high dollar, but I like selling this kind of stuff. $3.98 plus shipping for that. We've got a little carved stone bear. I got two of these in the store. One, not, not two just like this. I have another similar one that's uh, worth a little bit more. But this one, pretty neat. Uh, I accepted an offer on this one of eight bucks plus shipping. We've got some hats going out, a bucket hat, Arizona Diamondbacks bucket hat. This is pretty cool. It's a new era. You can see that right there. I accepted an offer on this of $13 plus 
plus shipping. I think a viewer sale here. Didn't leave a note, but pretty sure, uh, Eric, you are a viewer. Picked up uh, on offer the Montana Hat Company hat. Just a pretty slick looking hat, I think. Got this one. This was uh, eight bucks plus shipping. And then picked up the Deer Eater hat. Deer's good, guys. Very healthy for you as well. Uh, Deer Eater going out for 12 bucks plus shipping. So, uh, Eric, thank you very much for swinging in and picking those up. We'll combine those and uh, get some of that shipping back to you. Here we've got Painted Ponies. You guys know I love selling these when I find the good ones. They're not all good, but there are some very good Painted Ponies, and this one is not bad. Pick this up off of a Facebook Marketplace deal. I got three of them for 100 bucks. We're already uh, just about even or just over, I think. So this pretty much all profit. There's what it looks like right there. It's carved history. It's a really neat looking horse. And this sold for $76.16 plus shipping. This guy we've sold once before. Let's move it up front here. There we go. All right, th this one is sold once before. It's from episode one, Star Wars. It's the Naboo Fighter. It's electronic. It has uh, lights and sounds and that sort of stuff in there. Uh, still new and sealed. And this sold, I think it was to, it was somewhere in South America. And it ended up going and sitting there for a month or something after it got there. They never came to pick it up and pay the import fees and it got sent back and they were sending me messages it just seemed like they misunderstood what they were having to do with this thing and so they were i mean good customer i explained and said you know what i can refund you as soon as i get it back for everything but the shipping and they understood that and so i refunded them the purchase price and so i'm not out anything just relisted it and it's been sitting around for a little bit but then picked up some interest here recently and it's going again through an international order i can't remember exactly where it's going it's going through uh, ebay's system i believe it's going to end up in mexico it sold for 105 dollars plus shipping so pretty good deal on the naboo fighter we've got another hat university of north carolina this one sold for 15 dollars 79 cents plus shipping and then we've got some new balance new balance sells pretty well guys if you find the right ones some of them for really good money these actually sold within a handful of hours of listing them uh, and i accepted an offer of 50 bucks plus shipping and we'll tackle on monday sales because well we can there aren't a whole lot of them so it's going to go relatively Quickly. We've got a Barbie outfit here back from 1967. It's the Travel Together's outfit. $15.79 plus shipping. We've got one of our NBA patches. I think I've got two left. I've got the Bucks and the Pacers, I think. But the San Antonio Spurs going out for $9.98 free shipping. Obviously, that's going to ship out pretty cheap. And then we do have a viewer sale. In here, and that's all three of these last items here. The Trials of Kate McCall, Kate Beckinsale, Nick Nolte, DVD new and sealed. This is going to Alicia, and uh, well, it's actually going to Alicia's mom and her grandmother, who uh, she said live together and really enjoy this type of movie. You know, the thrillers, the mysteries, even the Hallmark movies, that sort of thing. And so she got this for them. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, she also picked up this little bone china figure. We've got the cat. I guess it's reading a book or it's at least relaxing on the book. This is really cool. I love this. We've got a bunch of bone china figurines listed. $9.98 plus shipping. This, uh, by the way, $1.49 plus shipping on that, uh, on that DVD. $9.98 there. And this also $9.98 some uh, some thermal leggings headed on out. So we will combine these and uh, get you some of that shipping back for sure. But uh, again, Alicia, thank you so much. Alicia over at Kindred Spirit Books. A lot of books and music in there, but lots of vintage stuff in the store. Some really neat things. So go over there, check that out. And I appreciate you coming in and checking out our store. 
So if you look at when I flash up the, uh, the screen grab of the sale there, very often on my sales, you see it says that the item was sold via promoted listing. I promote, people usually ask me, you know, hey, do you promote your items? I see you sell like that. How do I figure out promotions, that sort of thing? Here's the way I do it. Now, that doesn't make it correct. It just makes it the way I do it. What I do is I generally leave my listings up for a week, two weeks, kind of see how they're, how much attention they're getting, right? Am I getting offers? Am I getting watchers? Am I at least, are, are people coming in and at least looking at it? That gives me a, an idea of just naturally where my item is going to sit. And sometimes they sell, right? Uh, just the other, those new balance that we sold the other day, those sold within hours of me listing them. They were not promoted because I didn't have a chance to promote them yet. It's usually what I do is let it sit for a week, two weeks, and then I'll go in and then I'll promote the item. I mentioned this, I think in comments, either on one of my videos or on, maybe it was on Facebook. I don't remember one of the couple of Facebook groups that I'm in. Uh, people were talking about promoted items and whether they work, that sort of thing. And so I went back and at that point, eight of my last 10 sales were promoted listings. And so I thought, let's do that again. I went back and looked at my last 20 orders. Okay, so the last 20 packages that I shipped out of here. And 10 of them were not promoted listings. 10 of them were. It split right down the middle, 50-50. I think that shows that, at least in my case, promoted listings, they're working. When you list your item, you can choose to promote it. And they give you an option. Now, it used to be 1% was the basement. They did raise that to 2% is the basement. That 2% means 2% of the final sales price. Now, that doesn't include uh, sales tax. It does not include shipping. Okay. So if you sell something for 10 bucks and it's another $5 for shipping, all you're being charged on your percentage is that $10. Okay. So we'll clear that one up. And what happens is if somebody clicks on your promoted listing and then buys that item, I believe it's within the next 30 days. It doesn't have to be on that click. They could click on it today and they come back and they buy it tomorrow. Or you send them an offer tomorrow and they buy it the next day. Whatever, if it's in that 30 days, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think it's 30 days, then that item sold via promoted listing and you pay 2% off of whatever that item sold for, the actual sold price, or whatever percentage you decide. Now, usually eBay will have a default option and say, this is the average that an item like this usually is promoted at. Now, they update that all the time, and I think they still release every week their, uh, their numbers across 32 categories, I believe, what the average promotion rate is based on what other people are promoting. Most categories are between five and 10% is what people choose. Now that number, what does that mean? You choose 5%, you, you choose 10, say you choose 10%. That just gives you a leg up on somebody that picked 5% or somebody that's camping in the basement at 2%, the, the minimum amount. Now the higher the amount, the higher percentage that you put on there, the better the chance that you have of somebody seeing your promoted listing. And when eBay promotes your listing, they put it up in the top, I think, four listings. When you, when you do a search, those top couple, and it says sponsored on the bottom, it's not necessarily the best price. Those are promoted listings, and eBay will put those at the top. They'll also put a, a select number at the bottom, like if you're going to go to the next screen, there's some down there. Now, it's not just there, though. Uh, depending on, again, the percentage, you have a better chance of showing up even off of eBay. On partner websites, on, uh, you know, somebody gets on Google and searches, a lot of times you see a buyer come in and buy something that has, it, it looks like just a weird account. It was created that day, no feedback. A lot of times that's because they found your item on a Google search. Sometimes they found your item on a banner ad when they went to search for it. When you look at something as well, you, you do a search for, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a what's it. You type in what's it, you click on one that you think is interesting. Underneath there, it says similar sponsored items. That's where those come from. 
promoted listings. And that's a great spot to be, I think, because if somebody's selling there, what's it for $15 and that's the one somebody clicked on, but mine is underneath there at $12, they go, huh, that's a better price. Or maybe mine's $17.99, but my pictures are better. The title is better. Whatever it is draws their attention. I might get the buy because they saw mine underneath on sponsored listings. Now, there are people out there that will say, that's ah, just a money grab. eBay just wants our money. Of course they do, right? eBay is a publicly traded company. What does that mean? That means they have shareholders that they're responsible to. Their job is to make money. So I've always found it kind of a silly argument when people pound their fists and say, eBay just wants our money. Of course they do. I mean, this is not, it, it, it's no different than people rallying against resellers when they go and clear a shelf of hot toys at Christmas and, oh, you greedy, you just want money. Okay. Or when people are going to garage sales and buying something for $5 and selling it for 50, you get the comments, you see them on Facebook, on Instagram or wherever you hear them from your neighbor. I don't know where you get it. People, oh, you're just greedy. You just, no, I'm just making money. You know, it, what eBay is doing in asking for some more fees, no different than, than what I'm doing or what you're doing, right? We just don't have shareholders. We have family that likes to eat and drive places and maybe go to a movie every now and again. It's not a bad thing that eBay's trying to make money. Now, do I like paying more fees? No. Who, who wants to pay more, right? But this is eBay sandbox, okay? We are paying to play in their sandbox. And if you want to play on their platform, you got to pay to do it. Now, you can whine all you want. Go and create your own website. Troy's what's it's how well do you think I'm going to do? I'm not going to do very well. I'm not, I'm not going to make any money off of that because that website, that platform does not have the reach that eBay does. We pay for that access to that customer base. And again, that's not a bad thing. Now, again, I'm paying more if I promote my listing. Sure I am. My margins can handle that. Again, I'm buying something for a dollar and selling it for 10, well, I mean, sometimes five, right? You guys have seen my what solds. But you're buying something for a dollar and you're selling it for 10, you can afford a 5% margin decrease, right? You can afford giving up an extra few percentage points. If you can't afford giving up a few extra percentage points, then you're probably buying stuff at too high a price, right? What what you're doing here is you're giving up a little bit of margin for a higher velocity. Sure, you make less on each sale. You're making more sales. So at the end of the week, you're still coming out ahead. Now, would that thing sell eventually? Probably, eventually. But I don't want to wait for it, right? I I want to I want to move my merchandise. I want to turn my money into more money. There are I think the last number that I saw one point six billion active listings on eBay, give or take, I want mine to sell, right? And you've got to do stuff to make that stand out. Now, that's not just promoted listings. That's good titles, good pictures. you got to be a, a, a good seller, right? You have to have good feedback. Uh, usually a quicker turnaround time, quicker shipping will help. There are a lot of things, and you know the things that, that make items move, that help move your stuff. It's not just promoted listings but it's one more tool in the toolbox. It's marketing. If you had your own website, you'd advertise, right? That's what this is. Now, just because you promote something doesn't mean that it can overcome bad pictures, bad titles, bad details. If you are a, a bad seller, a, a poor sell-through rate, it, it's not going to beat those things. You've got to do the things that you're supposed to do, but if you are, it can help. The higher percentage that you promote at, the better chance you do have of getting those extra views in those extra places. Now, how do you determine what that percentage is? How do you determine what your number is? It's a little bit of a guessing game. You know, if you want, you can start at 2%, see what that does to your sales. If it works, great. I don't think it will because everybody goes, eh, I promote at 2%. 
okay, if everybody's promoting at 2%, you're not getting, you're, there's no edge there. You're just camping out at the bottom with everybody else. You got to promote higher if, if you want it to actually work. Uh, so try three, four, five. Now you can do 3.5, right? It doesn't have to be an even, even number. You, you can promote 2.7 you know, whatever it is, maybe 2.1. If you want to be at the bottom and edge out the people that just do 2%, go 2.1%. Now you're just ahead of them, right? If you want to play that game, go for it. I used to play the game of tinkering with the percentages, right? Because I was trying to save that money. You don't want to promote it too high. If it would have sold at 8%, you promoted it at 10, you gave away two percentage points. But again, I went back to the fact that I'm sourcing stuff for the most part. Of course, I make bad buys like everybody. But for the most part, I'm sourcing well. I'm sourcing low. And so I just, when I go in, I promote at whatever the going rate is. I I just click that. There's a, there's a little radio button there. You click that. Promote it at the going rate for this category. Now, you can also cap it. And that's what I do. I cap it at 10%. So none of my stuff is promoted more than 10%. Now in very crowded categories, you might want to consider that it, jewelry. Jewelry is a very crowded marketplace on eBay. I know a very high volume seller that promotes at like 20 or even higher percent on their jewelry items because it's such a crowded category and they do very well. So again, you're giving up some margin, but you're moving items in a category where it's tougher to move items. So you have to decide ultimately if you wanna promote, and if you do, what percentage you wanna promote at. But the big question, the 30,000 foot looking down on it, do promotions work? Yeah, they work. I mean, it, 10 of my last 20, have sold via promoted listing, especially when it's slow, guys. You, you gotta find any way you can to move items, to make money. If things are very slow for you, you might look at promoting your items right now. If you already promote, maybe you bump it up a little bit and see if that doesn't increase some of your sales. So I, I'm curious to, to hear what you do. Again, this is what I do and what I think, but that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. And everybody's got to run their business the way that makes sense for them and that works for them. Put your information underneath. Put your experience. Put your thoughts on promoted listings in the description. Let's have a good conversation down there. That's what this channel is about, is helping people. And so look down there, guys. There are a lot of really good resellers. I'm, I'm not the best reseller out there. I'm okay. But there are others that are far better, far more experienced. Learn from them. Uh, you know, read the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to see the subscription number grow. We're pushing towards 16,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So if you're not subbed to the channel, I'd love to welcome you in. Uh, hit the bell. That'll let you know when we put new stuff up as well. Again, my reseller genie, 15% off your first month if you decide to sign up with the link and code down below. And we're actually going to be giving away a free month in the next couple of days. So stay tuned to the channel for that. We'll give away a free month subscription to my reseller genie just in time to get your taxes done.